What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And I'm just checking in on you. How you doing? What's going on? I hope you're having a good day. Because today is Tuesday, December 20th. And that means this is your weekly vendor reset and must buys for this weekly reset. Now also, just to keep under your radar, we do have the global event Hollywood that is now active during our winter celebration. And we also have that exotic farm that was not changed. And we'll talk about that in another video. But without further ado, this is gonna be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for December 20th. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn breakfast sandwich. I've got a coffee over here, so I'm drinking my little latte and uh, enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, you know the whole deal. Now we're gonna start off in Washington, D.C and then we will finish up in New York City. So uh, yeah, sit back and relax, here we go. Now we are at the base of ops and starting off with the Pyromaniac. This is a great named item. This is the named police M4 and it comes with Perfectly Ignited. This is a perfect weapon for the ongoing Lucky League and I will be doing a Lucky League build featuring this weapon very soon. So if you want to pick this one up right now, the attributes are not that high and it comes with magazine size. So if you really need this one, I would pick this one up, reroll the magazine size off for damage targets out of cover, and then just optimize the AR and health damage to max. But it is here, 1500 or 15,500 credits. Then we have a uh, MP5A2 with maxed out damage targets out of cover and sledgehammer. Um, that would be really fun. The crit chance is very high. And then you could just max out the SMG damage. You're good to go. I mean, Sledgehammer on an MP5, I haven't tried that out yet. But that does sound very interesting. Um, hmm. Let me know if uh, this tickles your fancy. Then we have a MK16 with Rate of Fire and Ignited. And then finally a Card 45 with Crit Hit Damage and Ranger. Now looking at the gear items, we have a Alps backpack with status effects, explosive resistance, and leadership. And then a China Light chest piece with skill damage, health, and skilled. Looking at the mods, headshot damage, 7%. Drone duration, 6.3. Turret duration, 6%. And sticky bomb blast radius of 4.7. Now must buys things to look at from the base of ops. Eh. I mean, the Pyromaniac, I will be doing a build soon, so if you don't have one, you could look at it. The MP5A2 with Sledgehammer, um, just remember, you need to deal that damage with that grenade. But, uh, yeah, that could be pretty good on that MP5. And then that's about it. Nice. All right, so our next two stops at the base of ops is going to be the Countdown Vendor and the Clan Vendor. Now, both of these vendors are in both uh, Washington, D.C. and New York City. So I'm not going to go over them once I'm in New York because I'm going to go over them right meow. All right, here we go. Countdown Vendor. And, ooh, I'm just going to skip right to it. What? So this is your PvP exclusive named item, the Orbit. And this is available at your Countdown Vendor. Holy shnikes, Batman. Um, I'm picking one up right now. Uh, you don't need DZ resources. You don't need to do... <clears throat> anything pvp at all i mean mm, 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 mm. not only that but it's perfect it already comes with damage targets out of cover i don't know i don't know so you could uh, max out the damage targets out of cover on this one you could make one with health damage make one with armor damage you could make one with headshot damage i mean there's just so many different ways you could use this orbit and then remember that perfect finisher once you swap from this weapon um, after getting a kill, the um, crit chance goes up by 35% and the crit damage by 40%. So, damn. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a great pickup. That's going to go into the title of this video. I'm calling it right now. By the orbit, right now, countdown vendor. You're welcome. Next up, we have the Cold Relations. This is the named PP19 with Perfect Strain. Ha <laughs> ha, he said PP. 
Uh, this one comes with max health damage. Now, um, the SMG damage is very low, and same with the crit chance. I'm not a huge fan of this weapon, so eh, buy at your own risk. Percussive Maintenance Backpack. This is the named Alp Summit Backpack with perfect tech support. And this one comes with status effects and crit hit damage. Um, yeah, okay. And now let's jump over to our clan vendor, and then we'll start bouncing from uh, location to location. But regardless, happy uh, happy Tuesday, everyone. I know Christmas is coming up uh, before next week. Um, we have, what, five days until Christmas, so enjoy the time off, enjoy the family, all that jazz. And here is your clan vendor. Starting with the stage left, this is the new named rifle with perfect sledgehammer. Now this one comes with health damage. Then for the gear set items, we have Negotiator's Dilemma Gloves with weapon handling, Striker's Knee Pads with armor regen, Striker's Backpack with crit hit damage. Okay, okay. That armor regen's nice. Um, let's look at the high-end items. Military AKM with maxed out health damage, really high AR damage, crit chance, and perpetuation. Uh, and the Negev with measured, interesting, and crit hit damage. Um, the Negev with measured used to be OP as all hell because of the very high RPMs on this weapon. Now, with that being said, they did nerf this LMG way back in year two when it first came out. So, to get the most bang for your buck on this weapon and having measured, I would put uh, damage to armor there instead of crit hit damage, and then just optimize those other two attributes, use that measured. I mean, this thing could do some work. Not only that, but if you run this with the gunner specialization, you can get that magazine size up to 150. And then you'll have even more measured to work with, if you know what I'm saying. All right, pretty cool. Looking at the high-end gear items. Empress knee pads with a skill haste and crit chance, but the skill haste is very high. That's a good one. Um, you could re-roll the crit chance off for skill damage, status effects, whatever it is you want. You could keep the crit chance on here and just go for like a crit skill haste build on, you know, like capacitor type of deal. You could do it that way. Um, what I'm going to do is probably re-roll that crit chance off for skill damage and then just max out that skill haste, if that's, you know, up to me. Next up, we have Providence Defense Chess Piece with Repair Skills and Skill Damage. Um, interesting. And Reassigned. Yeesh. Uh, Hana Yu Chess Piece with Status Effects, Maxed Out Skill Haste, and Efficient. And uh, yeesh, 511 chess piece with explosive resistance, crit chance, and gunslinger. And then, all right, an Araldi backpack. Okay, that's not bad. These other pieces, I'm like, eh, I don't really like them. I mean, I'm just being honest. But this Araldi backpack's not bad. You have the double crit. You have the high core attribute. You could reroll the bloodsucker off for whatever it is you want, vigilance or companion or whatever doesn't matter um but you could definitely utilize this with the double crit um damn that's nice i'm gonna have to see if that's better than the the other ones i have now looking at the mods we have crit hit damage 10 5 uh drone health 8 8 uh protect oh interesting um this is a great protection from elites mod uh 12 percent this is good because the max is 13, and a lot of people don't have their 12% when they need them. You could easily make a maxed out protection from elites build using 12% mods. Not only that, but if you use that with the chill out mask that is available right now from the loot goblin, you could put two of these protection from elites mods on your character just on that one item. Now, using that with Survivalist, Survivalist Specialization gives you another 10% protection from elites. So you're kind of seeing where I'm getting you to go with this. Um, definitely pick up this mod if you do not have your 12% protection from elites or higher. Now, let me know in the comments if you do have a max protection from elites mod. 
I play this game on every platform, and it's exhausting. I'm going to be honest. And I have only ever gotten one max protection from Elite Spot. Over all my hours on all three platforms, only one ever. So this is a great pickup. I normally only use 12% mods for protection from elites because of how rare those max out mods are. So definitely pick this one up at the clan vendor. And then last is the Hive plus four repair charges. All right, now must buys things to look at from the clan vendor. Um, strikers with armor region, strikers with crit damage, Negev with measured, Empress with high skill haste, and then the Araldi double crit backpack to go with the protection from Elite's mod. There you go. All right. And that is it for the clan vendor and the base of ops. Now we're going to make our way west and then double back east, starting with the campus settlement. Now, if you are on um, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, whatever it is, and you do not have all of the exotics and general loot, let me know if I should start doing like a holiday live stream event where I just uh, go on, you know, these platforms and, you know, run that Anderson mission with three people that need exotics and then I just drop whatever I get. You know what I mean? Maybe we could do it that way. I don't know. If that interests anyone, just let me know. All right, we are here at the campus. Here we go. Glad to see you. Glad to see you too. Starting with the Ekums Long Stick. This is the named Marksman Rifle with Perfect Ranger. This one comes with maxed out armor damage. This is a good one you could pick up. You could pick this one up, uh, max out that Marksman Rifle damage, and then just optimize the headshot to max. But this is a good one to have with that Perfect Ranger. Then we have a uh, Covert SRS with max marksman rifle damage, optimal range, and eyeless, followed by a Stoner LAMG with swap speed and overwhelm. Looking at the gear items, we have a 511 mask with health and repair skills, and a Richter and Kaiser holster with explosive resistance and hazard. Ooh, shit. That is a great... This is a rare pickup. Okay, I, I'm going to just say this right now. Uh, for years now, the only real way to get the most bang for your buck with this Richter and Kaiser and, say, like a hazard build is to run two pieces of this for that explosive resistance and make sure both of those pieces have hazard and explosive so you could reroll that skill tier for an armor. So now this is one of those two pieces you could have. And then all you have to do is farm one more piece of Richter and Kaiser with explosive and hazard. That way you could reroll that skill tier to a armor core. This is how you get those tanky hazard, uh, you know, hazard explosive builds where nothing can really kill them and you can just run around. You know what I mean? Um, I've done a few videos like that in the past. I mean, it's been probably a year or so since I've done one, so I could probably do another one um, in the future. But it's by using pieces like this. This is a really, really good pickup. Obviously, the explosive and the hazard are not maxed out, but that doesn't matter because you have those rolls there. So re-roll that skill tier to an armor core, weapon core, whatever it is, and then just make sure you optimize the, the hazard and explosive resistance. That is perfect. I love that, especially with them nerfing the uh, shrapnel traps into the ground in PvP. It would be vital to have a hazard explosive resistance build. That way you're going to be unstoppable because now they're not even going to be able to take you out with shrapnel traps. Just so you know, fruit for thought. And then with the mods, we have skill haste 10%, chem launcher skill haste 5.8, hive health 7.8, Pulse Health, 14%, and uh, Trap Duration of 4.1. Now, must buy things to look at from the campus. The Ekum's Long Stick is a good one with that max armor damage, and the Richter and Kaiser Holster with that hazard and explosive roll. All right. Now, we're going to go to our Dark Zone vendors. Now, we already have the Orbit for sale over there at uh, the Countdown vendor. So, hopefully, we can get some other goodies for uh, PvP 
exclusive items this week. Let's see. Um, and just a reminder, all of these vendors, what they sell are items that cost Dark Zone resources. So to double check your Dark Zone resources, tab over to the resource tab. And right above your keys is going to be your Dark Zone resource. Now, for example, it shows right here, I am three out of 999. So if I found anything that I wanted from one of these vendors, I would have to jump into the Dark Zone and start farming those DZ resources. Now, to get those resources, you can either get the boxes that are spread throughout the Dark Zones, or you can uh, pick up contaminated items and then deconstruct them and make them Dark Zone resources, and then you can extract them that way. Pretty cool. But all right. Dark Zone West. Here we go. What do you got to lose? Starting with the Baker's Dozen. This is the named M4 with Perfect Lucky Shot. Now this one comes with health damage. Then we have a double barrel shotgun with health damage again. And uh, reformation. Followed by a lightweight M4 with perpetuation and health damage again. What the F with the health damage? Going to your gear items. Foundry gloves with armor regen. Eh, it's okay, but too low of rolls. Strikers knee pads with headshot. Murakami gloves with weapon handling and crit hit damage. And then Araldi knee pads with repair skills and explosive resistance. Looking at the mods. Ensnare resistance 8.6. Seeker mine healing 5.8. Shield damage bonus, 4%. Firefly blind effect duration, 5.9. And decoy health of 6%. Now, must buys things to look for at the Dark Zone West vendor. Um, hmm. No, nothing. All right. That is Dark Zone West. Now, let's take our talents down south. And I'm not talking Miami Beach. I'm talking the DZ South Main Entrance. Let me know if you caught that reference. Taking my talents down south. All right. Now here we go. DZ South. Big money, big money, big money. It's very good to see you. Starting with the orbit again. So we have two orbits, but this one is less, um, lesser of the two. So pick up the one at the countdown vendor, not at this vendor. Then we have a converted SMG-9 with optimal range and ranger, followed by a FAL with damage targets at a cover and on empty, and then a M1911 with headshot damage and reformation. Looking at the gear items, we have ongoing backpack with headshot, a heartbreaker chest piece with explosive resistance, bellstone backpack with armor regen, status effects, and protector, and then a Grupo chess piece with glass cannon, health, and skill haste. Now looking at the mods. Crit damage, 10%. Drone deflect duration, 6.3. Turret skill haste, 6.1. And sticky bomb skill haste of 4.2. Must buys things to look at from the Dark Zone South vendor. Mm. Negative. Negative, Ghost Rider. All right, let's go to the east side. Now, I do not go to the main entrance. I go to the alpha checkpoint. So going to the alpha checkpoint. Reason being is I do not want to run all the way through that courtyard. If I just go here, I'll hit this loading screen once, and then I can just go right outside. Access granted. And boom, there you go. And this is actually quicker than going all the way over there outside the gate and then running all the way down here. So, and it's just faster. All right, here we go. DZ East. What can I do for you, agent? Starting with the new reliable. This is the named RPK with perfectly optimized. Comes with rate of fire and max LMG damage. Then we have a surplus SVD with magazine size and sledgehammer. And a military MK-46 with reload speed and ranger. Looking at the gear items, we have Aces and Eights mask with armor region. Umbra holster with weapon handling. China light mask with skill damage repair skills. And Yall gear holster 
with health and skill damage. Looking at the mods, repair skills 16.2, chem launcher damage 4.2, hive duration 4.3, pulse cone size 6.5, and trap shock radius of 5.9. Now, must buy things to look at from the DZ South vendor. The new reliable is a good pickup. Just reroll the rate of fire off for damage to armor. Uh, that's about it. All right. Now, our last stop in Washington, D.C. is going to be the theater settlement. The theater. Go into the theater. The It's the theater. All right. Here we go. Big money, big money, big money. Ooh, okay. The firm handshake, but it comes with skill damage and status effects. That's a good one. You could reroll the weapon damage off for a skill tier. That that could be something good. Just saying. Uh, then we have a Spaz 12 with headshot and sledgehammer. A Sig 716 with reload speed and flatline, but it has a short underbarrel rail, so you can't run the link to laser pointer. Womp. Then for the gear items, we have Seska Gloves with weapon handling and skill damage. And then Empress Knee Pads with status effects and armor region. Going to the mods. Disorient Resistance, 8.4. Seeker Mind Skill Haste, 4.9. Uh, Shield Active Region, 4.1. Firefly Speed, 8%. And Decoy Duration of 6.0. Must buys, things to look at from the theater. Um, the firm handshakes aren't bad. That's a good one with the skill damage. Just reroll to a skill tier, put it on a skill build, and then run your uh, SMG. It's a good one. All right. And that is it for Washington, D.C. Let's go to New York City. New York. Hey. Hey, I'm fast traveling here. Hey. Hey, watch where you're fast traveling. Anyways. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, what are you waiting on? Come on. It's free. Helps me out. Do it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We're making our way to 60,000 subscribers. All right, here we go. Marco. Big money, Marco. All right, the MP7 with uh, health damage and unwavering, followed by a black market RPK with crit chance and sadist. A Super 90 with magazine size bread basket. And then a 586 Magnum with damage targets out of cover. And Eyeless. Now looking at the gear items. We have Providence Defense chest piece with skill damage explosive resistance. China Light gloves with skill damage status effects. And a China Light mask with status effects and armor region. Alright, I mean the gloves aren't bad. But, nah, I don't know about the mask. Looking at the mods, skill haste, 9.9. .9. Repair skills, 16.6. .6. Turret duration, 5.7. Hive damage, 4.1. And sticky bomb blast radius of 5%. Now, must buy things to look at from Marco. Um, I mean, the RPK would be nice for a Ridgeway's Pride build with, uh, probably Wicked, have the Sadist on here, reroll the crit chance for armor damage, that would be a good one. Um, make sure you're running the Gunner Specialization for the magazine size. Um, the China Light, uh, they're both okay, just make sure you max out the skill damage to go with the status effects, and you're good to go. All right. Now, our last stop of the video is going to be Roy Bonitas. <sighs> but make sure you pet the dog. All right. Show the doggy some love. What's going on, buddy? I wish there was more ways to interact with the dog or more animations with the dog. Something. Maybe you could donate food and water to help out the dog. Something. But nevertheless, show the doggy some love. And here we go. Roy Bonitas. Starting with the AUG. Now, this is the AUG A3 Assault Rifle. Comes with fairly high assault rifle damage, optimal range, and perpetuation. Then we have a classic RPK with magazine size and killer. A lightweight M4 with armor damage reformation. And then a Dicerose with 
crit hit damage, and sadist. Now looking at the uh, gear items, we have a 511 backpack with concussion, weapon handling, and skill damage. A Sokolov Concern, a pair of knee pads with crit hit damage and skill haste. And Seska Holster with crit hit damage and hazard protection. Now looking at the mods, we have Armor on Kill, 16,000. Protection from Elites, 11%. Ah. Shield Active Region, 4.1. Firefly Speed, 7.9. And Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.1, or 4.9, sorry. All right. Uh, no must-buys from Roy Benitez. But that is it, everyone. So we had a good Protection from Elites mod. We had a good Richter and Kaiser holster. We had a Orbit to pick up from the Countdown vendor. We had a Pyromaniac you could pick up. Uh, I mean, there's quite a few good pickups here. Uh, I would probably highlight the Orbit and Protection from Elites mod in my uh, title, so look out for that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Have a good day, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.